Hey everyone, welcome back to Ameripolish Academy Online. My name is Greg Cavett and in this episode we're going to be covering how to use the PG7K grout coating system. It is a cementitious grout coat that allows for the acceptance of Ameripolish dyes in order to give you a more uniform color for your floor. So we're going to jump right into it. I'm going to start mixing up a sample kit and we're going to do a small area just to show you how it's used. So let's get started. Okay, so now we are going to get started with the PG7K parts A and B. We're going to mix them together. It's important to know that once you start mixing them together, you do have a limited amount of time while the product sets off to apply it to a surface. So our sample kit here is preset. This is the powder. This is the liquid. It is two parts powder to one part liquid. This is what the normal kit looks like. We also have the flex blade here. It has a little bit of a bend in the blade to help fill voids and spread the product evenly. So the other thing you will notice during application is that we are misting some water before we put the product down. And that's just to help the product not absorb into the concrete so quickly. So this product is also excels very well in a wet cutting process. So without further ado, let's get started. We also have this, one of these you could buy at Lowe's and Home Depot. It's a paddle, it helps mix things easier. It's pretty difficult in the small container, so we'll try to keep the mess down. So you just want to mix this to a point where there's no more clumps in the mix. I want a buttermilk pancake batter consistency. We're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so now that we've finished actually putting the product on, as you can see, it's been about five minutes and the product's already starting to dry. That's a good sign. It went down very smoothly. We've filled all the voids and cracks that were there with the product. And now we're gonna talk about the next step, which is letting it dry and then removing it. And so you wanna give it about an hour, maybe two hours. Uh, what you wanna avoid is a very long period of time, such as 24 hours, 48 hours. At that point, the product becomes very difficult to cut off. And there's some areas in here where I dropped some clumps which if, if you were to leave a clump like that for an extended period of time, it would become even more difficult to remove. So let's stick to that one or two hours. We'll come back with our next step. You can hit it with a scraper beforehand to scrape those clumps off, or you can go right to your grinder 